Now this might surprise you, but I recommend Imperial's computing undergraduate over Oxford's computer science undergraduate. And in this video, we're not just gonna talk about why, but also how to maximize your chances of getting into Imperial. Now, Imperial's course has an 11% acceptance rate, so we are already over twice as high as Oxford's 4.5% acceptance rate, but Imperial's reputation is neck and neck with Oxford, and some industry hirers have told us they might even rank Imperial above Oxford. The entry requirements for Imperial are higher though at A star, A star, A with a requirement of A star in maths and further maths only if your school offers it. However, Imperial has an interesting quirk here. If you've done four A-levels, the average offer is A star, A star, A, A. If you've done three A-levels, then the average offer is three A-stars. So there is for once a bit of an advantage of having done more A-levels here. But your grades are not enough alone. This is a highly competitive course and they use the Mathematics for University Admissions Test, TMUA. You need to be aiming for a score above seven in this, which puts you in the top 10% of test takers to be an offer holder, in addition to three A stars or two A stars and two A's. Which takes us to tip number one, you need to be putting at least three months into preparing for this test. You might often read online, this is a test that can't be prepared for, nonsense. Anything with a mark scheme can and should be treated like an exam and can be prepared for. If you'd like to work with a specialist tutor, you can also look at information in the description uh, to understand what we offer as specialist tumor tutors to increase your chances of getting in. But regardless, do as many practice papers as you can. It's a new test, so if you run out of past papers, you might find the old Cambridge step, a very similar test, helpful as well as GMAT prep for the quantitative section. The best way of you getting in is to get over seven in the TMUA. Now tip number two to stand out on your personal statement is to learn an object-oriented coding language. If you don't know what that means, you are currently at a disadvantage over those likely to get an offer. You want to be studying a language such as Python, although my top tip's actually Haskell because this is taught in many undergraduate courses across the UK and is less well known. Now there are amazing free courses at a university such as MIT where you can get a certificate showing that you have studied, self-studied one of these courses in addition to your school requirement, giving you a huge advantage over other candidates. I also recommend looking at SQL, an additional language that can help make your application stand out. And in the unlikely event you're invited to an interview, they don't interview the majority of candidates, it's helpful to have something to talk about, something that you have built and learned. Tip number three, and specific to Imperial, is Imperial is probably the most career focused of the computer science degrees. They really want to understand what is your career plan. So I recommend putting at least five years after graduation ahead. This means that you need to be researching what are the sort of job titles that you could apply to and embrace the jargon. Are you gonna be full stack or a back-end engineer? Are you gonna specialize in machine learning or are you going to be a data structure specialist? Understanding and researching these things and putting it in your statement gives you a huge advantage because it makes you seem more authoritative on this subject than other candidates. Now, that's just a couple of tips, and if you'd like to see how to put all of this together, I've done the hard work so you don't have to. You can, in the link below, get an exemplar personal statement into your inbox showing the five pillars of any undergraduate personal statement to help increase your chances. In fact, our premium candidates, that's the students that I support and the other amazing exhibitions professionals in my network support have a 92% success rate at getting their first and or second choice offer. Typically that's one of Oxford, Cambridge or Imperial. Now my final tip is the most overlooked one, the reference. Your reference is like a second personal statement that is typically looked at before your application. Find your referee, if it's your head of sick form or school teacher, and make sure they know all these brilliant self-learnings that you've done 
talk to them about your strengths and make sure that they are writing a glowing report. The magic words are, I highly recommend this student for any undergraduate course in the UK. And if you do have any extenuating circumstances or maybe some slightly lower predictions, make sure that they're talking about those rather than yourself so that you can free up your personal statement to talk just about why you are a brilliant candidate. Now, that's just a small number of the tens of tips that we have. If you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe. We've got loads more videos coming out in our computer science and computing series. Write a comment if you've got a specific question for me so that I can get back to you. And if you really want to maximize your chances, 9x your chance of getting in, do contact us using the information on screen now and in the link below for a no commitment expert consultation to understand your chances of getting in and how we might be able to help supercharge those with our premium services. Most importantly, good luck and rooting for you.